I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so got done fishing in La Jolla with Kevin Nakata from Hobie, and today I'm actually at Hobie headquarters here in Oceanside, California, to have a meeting with Hobie, and they're telling me I'll be able to walk the factory and see how these kayaks are made. And here's Kevin right now. What's up, bro? What's up? What's going Welcome on? to the Hobie world. Thanks, man. Excited Good to check it out. Door. Yeah. I'm going to try to get that uh, truck and just hang on. Cool. With Perfect. So Kevin Nakata, who we were fishing with La Jolla, is gonna kind of show us around Hobie headquarters. Yep, let's go do it. Let's check it out. So right here we have a display of what a dealership would look like when you walk in. Uh, you have your Hobie products laid out, um, an Outback LE, which we came out with in 2015, and uh, got some new things like the Mirage Drive 180. Like Robert was using. Well, pretty neat stuff out here. Yeah, that thing is awesome, man. I was Brand really new. impressed. <laughs> really impressed. It's going to change the game a lot. I was skeptical when I, you guys were saying it was just as efficient, but it definitely was, if not maybe a little more efficient than the original. Yep. Which is impressive. And then let's walk you down a little bit of Hobie history. Yeah. So walk down history. This is a list of the Hobie World Championships that we've had for the, uh, for the um, Hobie 16s, the sailing boats. Nice. They've, been, they've done it all across the world from Hawaii to Australia to China, Spain. Very really cool. Really neat. Um, down the way here, and you know, it all started with Hobie Alter, so right. um, pretty much everything I see here for the most part was developed in part by him. Uh, right here, we have a memorial for him. Uh, some things that we've done, uh, the Hobie 16, which was a really big part of the Hobie Cat. That's the reason why it's called Hobie Cat Company is a development of the Hobie 16. It was huge in the 1960s all the way through the 80s. Uh, even now, uh, still really popular. If you want to go really fast sailing, nothing better than Hobie 16. And so when we walk down history a little bit, you'll see that sailing play a large part in the uh, development of Hobie Cat Company and creating the products that we do now. And, and then uh, you got some toys here that uh, you know Barbie picked up. Um, we were had, uh, I don't know if these are actually a product, but someone made roller skates at one time. Hmm. Uh, and then, in 1998, or 1997, uh, the, what you see now, the, the original predecessor, the Hobie Mirage, that came out and was really what we do now, the majority of our business, which is kayaks. And that had the Mirage Drive really different it was all fiberglass it was a really heavy unit really primitive mirage drive but it was the start of what we have now yeah hands-free fishing yeah look what it's turned into man. yeah you got morgan the celebrity over here <laughs> a really cool shot of a sperm whale right next to a, oh, I, wow. an i9 by rick rosenthal that, Photoshop that really would have been a little sketchy I feel like. <laughs> We did uh, snowboards for a while. The facility, the offices here, we had a uh, glider that um, was a very short run as well that Hobie Walter got involved in, um, but people still rave about him to this day. Nice. So, he made a lot of really amazing products. And, uh, yeah, and like a wide range of products. I had no idea you guys had dabbled in snowboards and, and gliders. And, and, yeah. yeah. So uh, let's walk outside and we're going to start walking in the facility, cool. or the factory itself. Yeah. And just an FYI, like we make all the roller motor kayaks here in the U.S. Awesome. Right here. Awesome. So, so everyone comes out of this factory? Yep, every one of them. Nice. Hobie Alter mass produced, really easy to ride surfboard, which had a foam core in it. And so if you don't know what that means, most uh, surfboards out there all have a foam core inside in order to alleviate a lot of the weight. And so he found a way to make these foam cord surfboards in a lot of numbers. And so he made surfing 
really as popular as it is today because everyone can get a surfboard very easily. Yeah, we actually use foam core and some of our paddles for accent paddles. Uh, some of our blades have foam core and then helps it oh, that's awesome. out of the water and keeps it light. Yeah. Yeah, it works really well. So, that's a good idea. In fact, accent paddles actually makes the uh, blades for the Hobie paddles. You know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sir, I wish you didn't have to wear them, but you do. <laughs> All right, man, safety first. We're now walking to the Mirage Drive room awesome. uh, where they assemble and make all the Mirage Drives. This is Frank, he's a character. Yeah. Oh, I need one of those. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be famous. Mm -hmm. We put everything outside, we leave it like that. We have to put it over here. We have to test it first before you know it goes to the, to the line over there. Right there is good. Comes over here. You know, he comes over here. He has to store the mask. Now he's gonna put the cranks on this part right here that comes out where you put your feet up. He's gonna slide those on and um, get it looking near uh, ready uh, production model. If you're a short guy or tall guy or whatever, that's the number. I'm right a number there. five. Oh. And this guy, you know, he's gonna put everything together. And then he's gonna put Perfect. And then the last guy, he's gonna... Nice. It's coming alive. Huh? Coming alive. Sorry, man. Yeah, battery powered. Mirage Drive 180 from Hobie, got to use it out in La Jolla. Uh, this thing is killer. I, uh, <laughs> I was really skeptical that it was as efficient as the old one since the fins look a little slimmer, but I think it actually might be a little more efficient than the old one, uh, which really blew my mind. But put it in reverse, super easy. They got it color co coordinated now, forward and reverse, and you just pull on them, flip them. That simple, really slick design. So here is where we assemble the mask for the Hobie's uh, sailboat, the 16s and the P1 and uh, the big sailboat. And that's the Eclipse handlebar system, right? Yep, and so we're wiring those up right now or putting the steering lines in. So. I got to try that out with AJ McWhorter in uh, Michigan, man. Dude, those things are fast. It's, a, it's really fast and they turn I, really tight. It's when crazy. I first saw it, I was like, ah, I don't want to fish that thing. But after being on it, man, if you could kind of rig that up a little bit, it'd be slowly for fishing, for yep. sure. Being able to stand up and slide cast and keep moving. Be game changer, Definitely man. elevated and you're moving. Yeah, and it's like... I've always said with the with the Outback, if I could only pedal while I was standing, it'd be perfect. So there's there's potential there for fishermen for sure. You never know what will develop. Yeah, yeah. There's the steering lines for the Eclipse. Tons of the handlebars. We're busy with Mirage Eclipses. Can't keep up with the man. My mom wants one. So. Yeah, they're awesome. Busy, busy, busy. I'm so busy. <laughs> <laughs> and so in here is where they house the plastic, which may not be what you think it is. It's not what you would expect. You would kind of expect like a solid that maybe they melt down and then pour in, but it's not. It's a powder. Feels like sand. Feels like just kind of sugar sand. Someone's gonna get a kayak with a little bit of Robert Field on it now. <laughs> Limited edition. Charge double for it. <laughs> But our camo is a blend of three different colors. A black, an olive, which you've known in the past before, and the dune. And they're all blended in at the same time. But the difference in the colors between both will be varied from just like a fingerprint for a human. They're all gonna be different. They're never gonna be the same. So basically, every one's a limited edition because they're all different. Exactly. That's cool, man. I like that. Right here is the pro angler assembly area. So here we got a line of 17 T's that they're assembling now. Yep, beast. Yeah. 17 feet long. Uh, it's a tandem pro angler. It's really cool, but it is a lot of work to make these things yeah. as, as big as they are. And it's a lot of little parts that got to go in it, man. And I was actually, I tested one of these out in Michigan. Killer platform for fishing. Yep. I actually had a motor on the one I was in. Uh, super comfortable. I mean, just incredible. If you can, if you can afford it, you can transport it. This is a killer, killer boat. One thing that's different about this kayak is that, well, boat really, is that it's uh, lined with foam. 
So it actually has a injected foam uh, shot inside of the oven. So instead of having the foam blocks like you see on the Pro Angler series, it's actually molded into the boat. So this bottom line piece right here, that's all foam, which is really unique for this particular kayak. We do it with our sailboats, with our OB, with our road mode sailboats, but we haven't ever done it with the kayak up until now. So with this one, we do it. The other ones we're trying to keep the, the, the weight down. Yeah. So we keep those foam blocks and still. It also has stiffness in the bottom where you stand. Right, right. So, but this boat's really unique because of that. Nice. And again, putting everything in by hand. Yep. It's a lot of assembly that goes into every one this, of these. This one almost more than the rest of the boat. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of boat. <laughs> Pro Angler seats. Advantage STs. Not the CTs, the STs. These are on the Pro Anglers, but he's making them right now. That is like the throne of fishing kayaks, man. I love that seat. So he, he puts everything on by hand. It starts off with just a tube, that's and that's crazy. it. And then he'll put all the cranks and the, all the adjustments on by hand. I mean, that's, for me, that when I saw that, I was like, wow. You think about a company's biggest hobby, and you kind of assume everything's just mass produced, just robots or something, and it's literally hand built. I mean, from the ground up. That's really impressive. By having an actual human touch every one, you, that's where you get that quality control and just make sure everyone's perfect. Right. And so here with Morgan Promise, he's, uh, what's your title, Hobie? Fishing product manager. Fishing product yeah. manager. He's one of the head honchos around here. So uh, they say. He's a celebrity too, self-proclaimed celebrity, I hear. Yeah. And uh, we're about to go check out them pouring the plastic into one of the molds. Hey Robert, so we're gonna let you make a Pro Angler 14 here. Hi. And uh, we're gonna sell it for twice as much because Robert touched the boat and he's gonna pour the powder in. Uh, getting some of the stickers and stuff on there, and then we're gonna take the powder, pour it on the mold, and clamp it together and show you guys how a boat's made. And I can take it home with me, right? Yes, ask him and it'll come out of his paycheck. <laughs> My younger days when I used to play in the sand pit. Yeah. Now yeah, write your right. name in it. Feel. doesn't know but he's on shift tonight until midnight these guys are saying they they like the way he pours the powder he's hired i'm a natural sure. life buddy yeah thanks man kevin and i are gonna go have a couple beers yeah so have a beer for me later. i appreciate it <laughs> is my hair okay okay good no no all right guys well hope you enjoy the tour of the uh, hobie facility here in oceanside california um really impressed by kind of how much is still made by hand made right here in the USA. Uh, I feel like that's where you really get that quality control. Every boat just comes out perfect. Uh, I'm really impressed. Kevin, I really appreciate you showing me around. And Morgan. Yeah, Rob. Thanks, man. Good to have you out here, man. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for putting me on some fish. You're welcome. He was calling heat stroke, acting like he was sick. <laughs> I can't, you know, someone, someone's gotta live the dream. I'm glad you guys could. I was working in my office. <laughs> working, yeah. I hope, yeah. I hope you caught some fish. Yeah, we did, man, we did. No, I'm Let's glad go. you got out. Let's go work on some beers. Yep, I'm down. I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. See you guys next time. See ya.